So I've had my first major issue with the LS. And you know what the problem is? It's not even the LS's fault, it's mine. You see anything wrong here? All right, so we've got a new issue today. Yesterday afternoon, I was out mowing, and um, the tractor has a has a new problem. So, if you look up here, I can now stick my hand through the glass into the cab, or the lack of glass. It wasn't so funny when it happened, though. So basically I was out mowing and the next thing I know I hear this huge explosion and I mean explosion it sounded like a bomb going off in the cab and I had glass all over me falling all over me now I don't know for sure but I was shredding and the shredder sits really close to the tractor I don't know how a rock gets from the bottom of that shredder up into this glass but it did uh, we're going to uh, we're going to, have to fix this now. We're about to find out how good LS is about getting parts now. Uh, this glass is, I'm pretty sure, is not going to be cheap. But now we have to replace this glass. I have glass all over the inside of this cab. I have just, it's everywhere. Um, it shattered and just went all over the place. Down my shirt, uh, good, I had a hat on. And so it, a lot of it was, back of my head was protected by the hat. So that was a good thing. But if you... You look inside the cab here, I'm going to show you that. You'll see how much glass is just everywhere inside this cab. And, and I, I have picked some of it up already. So if you look around, this is behind the seat right here. You can see how much glass got inside this cab. Uh, it's all over the place. Up here at the top where the windshield wiper used to be, it's laying, laying in the floorboard now. I unplugged it and took it off of here. It was, it was, it was dangling. And hanging this piece right here if you look at this you can see how the glass is still underneath there uh, this bolts to this we're gonna have to figure something out there uh, the struts these are the, the struts have this is where the struts are and then you can see how this glass is just underneath these pieces of struts here I don't know what this glass is gonna cost but I can guarantee you it's not gonna be cheap it's unfortunate but yeah yesterday was not a good day but we just need to keep going. We'll continue on and get this. We're going to try to do something to fix this today. Uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to do here in just a moment. Um, I should have protected the glass beforehand. I didn't do that. I kind of procrastinating. We have an idea on how to protect the glass. Well, now I'm wishing I had just protected the glass, but I didn't. Okay, that's just the way it works. So here we are getting ready to fix this glass on this thing. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. You'll see that we have a piece of quarter inch plexi acrylic plexiglass that's what's going to go in for now until we can get us a uh, a new piece of glass so yeah that's where we're at right now when we get started on this i got some measurements to make unfortunately i don't have a piece of cardboard that big and i need to if i can find some cardboard i, I would i can make a pattern it'd be easier if i made a pattern for it i'm sure uh, i'll look around some more but i don't know that i have anything and if we can make a pattern for this, that's what we really need to do. Draw the pattern out, set that pattern on top of this plexiglass, and then cut it. and a half that should work yeah, so a long level. Um, yes I'm not sure where it's at I gotta go find it 50 and a half
50 and a half. There's your 50 and a half. Alright, just leave it on there. We'll go ahead and make this cut. So this cut is pretty, pretty crucial. This is the longest piece of it. So what I'm going to do before I actually cut it is I'm going to double check my measurement here. Should be 50 and a half. That's what I got. Fifty and a half. That should work. All right. So this is a special knife. This, these are knives are made for cutting acrylic or plexiglass. That's what this is for. It has a curved edge on it right here, as you can see. And what you do is you score this with this edge right here, and then you take out. If you're going to cut plexiglass, you got to cut halfway through that plexiglass before you can break it. Halfway. You must be halfway through the plexiglass. That's very, very important. So we're going to do that now. Not halfway yet. Not yet. All right. I want to show you how to do this. And you got to line up your other side. You don't have a, you don't have something straight edge long enough. Take your take your knife or whatever you're doing and set it in your hole. Bring it up against it, and then bring everything in straight, and then finish it out. All right, this is the hard part, breaking this stuff. So we need to turn it so that the edge of it is over the edge, like this. Now you'll see it's already weak, and that's what you want. You want that weak, but you also want to make sure this is right on that edge too. And then you want to, you really need to have something across it. You know, board over there, Jason. Hold up. Yeah. Is there a board right there? So you want to set something like this on here. This is important. Line that up on that in there. And you want to line it up further. Line it. You want it lined up nice and neat. And you want to hold this down tight because you're going to break this. Just like that. All right, I'm just gonna get you in here real quick, closer. You can see how smooth this cut is. This is a nice, clean cut, and that's what you want. Now, hey, one of the things I left off is you need to leave the plastic. There's a, there's a, there's a plastic on here. You must leave that on there before you cut it, okay? So that takes care of that. We have our, we have our, our longest widths. Now we need to do our short width. All right, so. What we're going to do... All we need to do is measure that short width and then just take that and we need to find the middle of this and then measure that out. What we're going to do, we have to come down Flip like this to where this is at. It goes right here. Have it. Alright, so... That's last. We can figure out the short length. So now I have to go from here 
to here because right here is where your 50 and a half is at then the rest of it is this piece so i have to come down i have to figure out what this this width is Forty-four and a half. Forty-four and a half across the top. And then when we come down on this thing, 25. 44 and a half and 25. 15 and a half, just like it says. 25 and a half is the correct middle of this sheet. So then we need to go to 22 and a quarter. 22 quarter, right there and then it's going to be 44 and a half 44 and a half so we're going to take what we're going to do is we're going to go from here down to where it hit intersects this and that's going to be 25 inches where it intersects this Make it, put it on the inch mark and make it 26. This should be 29 inches. Well, we're not cutting there. We're cutting this to this. 29 inches that direction. And then we're going to go like across here. So. Did you measure that? It should come out somewhere around 15 and a half inches when it's all said and done. And make a mark and then cut down it. Move this out of the way. Go a couple more times get some get some depth on it because once you start digging into it you slip and then you're done hate to do, hate to mess up on the last one But I'm going to take these edges off real quick. What do you look like? Are you straight across here? I think we're straight across. Alright, dot it. I'm going to have to come in from the other side. That's the uh, the bottom one. That one definitely will need to be opened up. Yep, it's on. All right. 
around it? Yeah, but we got to still got to put some kind of latch on it. The, the latch is laying there on the floor. Yeah, the top gets the split. I got that's pretty cool. You don't have to hold the glass, it's holding itself up. <sighs> so hopefully I can get you in here. We remount it. This is the mounting, this is where it mounts back up. Here's what uh, connects it here in the inside. This is what secures the glass. You can see the glass moves a little bit and that's because it's not sealed as tight. So there's a little bit of movement here. Uh, I wish it was tighter. Uh, I'm not sure what I could do there other than if I, maybe if I, oh, I could probably come up with some ideas, but we definitely got it cut where it's definitely, you know, sealed on there pretty decent. And uh, as you can see, it's not too bad. This rubber seal just pops down around this glass. The only places I have a little bit of, the only place I have a little bit of problems is like right here. This is not sealing as good as I would like it to. Um, I'm gonna think about this. I might come up with an idea Supposedly you can heat this acrylic glass and, and make it work. I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna try not to do that. I'm just gonna hopefully just get um, this taken care of. I, got, I do have some other ideas though of how to, how to bring that glass in tighter uh, so that uh, it seals better. And we may have to do that. But, but for now, I'm not gonna worry about it until I find out how long it's gonna take to get our, my new glass in. See if I, what kind of, house note I'm gonna to have to take out on the glass in order to pay for it but other than that um, yeah that's what we're doing now we couldn't put the wipe we couldn't put the we, I didn't put the windshield wiper back on it I didn't put the struts back on it we just hooked it back up to get get it covered up that's all we did all right so we uh, got this plexiglass in here it's a piece of quarter inch plexiglass it's a temporary solution we're not gonna be doing we're not gonna leave this one here I'm gonna to try to buy a new glass. Hopefully that won't be too terribly bad. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be cheap though. Uh, I'm gonna to try to order that tomorrow. Um, and we'll see if we can get that in there. But for now, that's all we're gonna do. I'm not gonna hook the struts up. Uh, all I'm trying to do is get the, get the back covered up in case it rains or whatever. I do have hay to still take up, off, off, get off the ground. That's coming up pretty soon. I gotta get that off the ground. Trying to keep as much dirt, dust, and water out of the cab as I possibly can. Secure the cab as best I can. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, actually. It looks pretty good. It's clear. It looks like it's supposed to like be like that. It's glass. It looks like it's a, a, just another glass is what it looks like. Well, then we're also going to see how well LS does about getting us a piece of glass. Keep in mind that you know they have a they have a, 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 a distribution center here in the state of Texas. I like to see how fast they can get us that glass. We're gonna find out. So stay with us for that. I have to vacuum all the, I still need to vacuum all the glass out of the cab. There is a tremendous amount of glass in the cab. Getting ready to start that process real quick, get that over with, and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll move on. Sometimes, sometimes you just have to go with the flow and that's all I can do. There's nothing I can do about this glass being broken. Not a thing, not a thing.
So sometimes you just you just have to go with the flow.